As always, we are hope you're having a very blessed day. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of what's growing in the garden. I'm not going to do a step by step what everything is. Um, I did that earlier, but I will show you around and um, we'll take a look at see what's growing the most. So here's the first two buds that we have. This is my lettuce growing. The Scarlet Runner beans are growing here and they're doing pretty good. As you can see, and you're going to see a lot of this, I have this netting down because, let's see one right now, because, oh it's inside. Can you get that moth right there? Nope, not that one. Oh, there's, oh, look at them all. These are cabbage moths and they got under the netting and there's six of them. Some. Wowzers. Anyways, we're having a lot of issues with the cabbage moths laying nope. eggs. Ooh, we almost got away. We have this netting down to kind of keep the the cabbage moths away from all the brassica stuff. So that's why a lot of it is going to be covered up. I bought this. I bought this netting stuff. It's like I don't know what what it's really called, but it's like a mesh. I found it at the thrift store, and there was just yards and yards of it. Um, somebody probably was working on a project or needed it for something and anyway let's continue on so Kenzie's eating peas I just oh, yeah? I just mowed peas that were pretty tall but these peas these are like the Mongolian tendril peas maybe or something these are over six foot tall them things are ginormous okay, so I'm five foot eight 5A and they're well above your head because they're all interwoven too. The grapes look great and down here I have more of the um, runner beans. They're growing up the trellis nicely. Sunflowers are getting big. There's several sunflowers in this bed. The strawberries are about done producing. I'll probably get one or two more little pickings. And then here's the main garden. I've got some cauliflower here. It's trying to grow. It was pretty wet when I planted it, so it's been off to a hard struggle. The row of peppers that um, kind of got a late start on, they're starting to look okay. We have a row of onions. Those onions are starting to take off. These are started from seed, and they've taken a lot longer than I thought. We have a row of carrots. The peanuts, those haven't been doing as much as I thought. They're not really bushing out or anything, but they do have flowers, so I guess there is new growth because this is new growth right here. But they look like they're doing okay. It's just I don't know that. I thought maybe they'd get bushier. And maybe they will yet, now that we're getting some heat. Zucchini. Zucchini are starting to produce. I've got one little one in here growing same with uh, the summer squash got a few of those in there so that's that's looking good those are all herbs that are in here so mint and basil and i don't know what is in there sage maybe they're soon be slaving over beans because mom plants Beans. Oh, so many. <laughs> and then she gives us five gallon pails and says, go pick the beans. <laughs> beans are looking good. These are the purple beans, the green beans, and the pink beans. Then I have more cauliflower, cabbage. The asparagus is pretty much done. Um, I probably could pick it another time or two, but I'm kind of just letting it go to seed. There are a few tomatillos that are looking pretty good. They're all flowered. This is the row of Brussels sprouts, which are doing really good. They're just covered, so you can't really see very much. 
These are all tomatoes and weeds. We so, grow weeds. What? We grow weeds. So that's the main garden. Growing weeds. Let's go back to the raised beds. What garden? Yeah. Oh, here. I have this pretty little um, tomato growing. It's called Mushroom Basket. It is looking cute. This is a different one. Oh. Different variety. There's two varieties in This one's got ridges. Yeah, that's the other variety. Anyways, I just have that hanging in a hanging basket. I Chickens are just a child coming. Chickens are just hanging out. Alright, back here, we go to these hills. The, the potatoes here are not doing exceptional. This is this is a roll of weeds. This is all the potatoes. Um, when I planted them, we got some heavy rains, and this is wet soil, so I think they might have just rotted. I've got a few tomatoes growing here, and in this hill, these are some more tomatoes. Other than that, the melons, which are here, um, they're looking good. Just a slow start. And then I have uh, cantaloupe is over on this hill. So those are looking all good. And the cows, now we're here. Look of all the raised beds. Hopefully you can hear me. It's a little breezy today. Which is good because it's hot. Yeah. It's hot? Yeah. Yeah, I might get about 90 today. Alright. This will be the... This bed is not doing a whole lot, actually. There's a pepper growing on this one. I have kale and purple mustard under here. That's starting to grow good. I'm putting the mesh over it to keep the moths out. This bed is my lettuce bed. We've been harvesting the lettuce. I need to do it again today. Um, and the arugula and all that, that's all been really good. This, these peppers are coming along. I think I showed you these last time, maybe. But they're starting to go. Little peppers. Oh, you can't see them. The sun is really bright. Yard long beans are here. This side it has not put out much for runners to grow up yet. I think they're just starting right here. But the other side, they're already climbing. This is a different variety. This is a green runner bean, whereas the other side is the purple runner beans. But, I mean, they all look good, so can't complain. Here is broccoli, again, under cover. This here is a big basil plant. And this is eggplant is looking really good. Eggplant? Eggplant. A couple of those. The herbs are looking good. Not a lot changed in this bed since last time. This bed is potatoes. And I think last time I mentioned I thought I planted um well, I did plant parsnips, and I thought they were parsnips coming up, and sure enough, these are all parsnips. So, I've got a nice stand of parsnips coming in between the two rows of potatoes. Potatoes are just starting to flower. So. Celery is looking really good. Still growing. Still growing great. It's getting very leafy. Let me try to show you a stalk here. 
see that. So that's looking really good. Cilantro is starting to um, flower, go to seed. So I'm trying to pick that all off. But cilantro looks good. Should be eating this in our salad. And then these little peppers are starting to get little, lots of little peppers. So there's a whole bunch of them in here. Okay, this borage plant has gone a little crazy. It's a lot of it's fallen over. It's so heavy and big. So I'm just letting it. Um, yesterday I took off one of the big stalks, but this one probably needs to go too. It's bent. But yeah, they're got they're just huge, but they're pretty and they're flowering constantly. Tomatoes are growing great. So, these are the tomatoes. Um, I've been just kind of weaving the tops in and out as support, but also I use a little twine if needed. There's a little piece of twine um, to hold it up to support it. I've got a couple that need to get put up. Yeah, maybe I added these since the last video. This has a little tomatillo in it. Let me get the right lady. This barrel, I have holes in the bottom of them, and I filled it with dirt, and I planted tomatillo in here, and then they're just starting to come up, but I have more parsnips growing in here. What? You're not going to eat these. <laughs> the chickens think that they're going to eat this. But this one also has a tomatillo in and parsnips also. The next one has jelly melons. I've got three little jelly melons growing. And... I think I put parsnips in here or carrots, can't remember. I didn't label that, but I'll know here soon when they come up. And then the last one, I put potatoes. I had a few random leftover potatoes that needed to go somewhere, so stuck them in the bucket. These are big drums that mineral comes in for cattle. So. All right, let's keep moving. Gold is growing beautifully. These things are huge. Just starting to get a flower. Here's the onions and some cabbage. They're doing all right. Another bed of strawberries. Those are starting to put their runners out. Another bed of onions um, and the potatoes. Those are looking really good. You can see that. Onions, so that's good. Got a couple t sunflowers growing in that one. Oh, and the wind blew the mesh off. I just checked these for eggs too. But this is broccoli. And on the other side is cauliflower. Here's a look from this direction. So on um, that side of on um, the opposite side, those were the tomatoes. This side, I have Kajari melons on this trellis, but they're not doing a whole lot just yet. Just starting to put off where they can run soon. Be, be trellised up here soon. But I have some green beans. Those are starting to put forth flowers. More cucumbers. The dragon egg cucumbers. I have a, the one random purple pea um, growing there also. More green beans. And I have to keep the tomatoes up because otherwise they're going to shade the green beans. But there's a lot of growth in the tomatoes right now. 
and more cucumbers. These are the mm, lemon cucumbers. More parsley there. So that's that bed. The next bed is peppers. Peppers are starting to grow, finally. It's been hard, but... Mexican sour gherkin cucumbers. And they are... They're small yet, but they're starting to put forth their little runners. <clears throat> put forth their little runners and climb up the trellis. So, that's cool. Happy to see that. I must have some radishes in the corner here. A borage plant. The next bed is also peppers. Oh, there's some peppers growing on them. I'll show you. That one has a nice one. Let's see. I'm not sure if you can see the angle, the sun, all that is. That one has a couple nice sized peppers. So it looks like a lot of them are starting to put forth peppers, so that's good. This cucumber is doing really good. This is a crystal apple, and you have to train it to stay on the trellis. Try to loop it in and out, back and forth. And you can see that it has little cucumbers here, let's see. Little cucumbers right there. Not very big yet, but it won't be long. More peppers. This pepper is looking really good too. More Kajari melons down here. They're still um, pretty small yet. And then over here is, on this side I have tomatillos that are just loaded with flowers. Sunflower, this tomatillo is huge, it's huge, looking really good. And then tomatoes, different variety of tomatoes. They're all putting forth flowers. I actually have some little blueberry tomatoes I can show you. Those are hidden. Hold on here. Those are hidden down in here. So you see about how little they are? Really looking good though. This one has some green ones. Along here I have all peppers. These peppers, I just planted these. Um, I do believe they're a hot pepper. So they're not doing a lot. Then come on down here. This one has some nice sized peppers on it. that bed. More tomatoes. These are more of a, well, I'm not sure what these are. I think I got some Amish paste in here. In here. I have a couple more cucumbers in there. This one's got potatoes only. There's nothing else planted in here because I'm waiting another Maybe by the end of the week or next week, I'll put another row of cucumbers, um, pickling cucumbers. That's what's in this row here. These are all the cute um, pickles that we that I can make relish out of and all that. So um, I'm just on this side. This is all cooked cucumbers. And I have some dill planted in here. Probably can't see that very well. And then in the middle, 
That is weeds, but it's also carrots. We started tackling that yesterday, like right in here, Mackenzie and I, but then we were called to do some field work, so we, we stopped that. Then this is a row of green beans all the way down. But yeah, today, maybe today I can finish weeding, weeding the carrots, because that's sad. The potatoes that are in the containers are looking very good. They probably want to drink. But yeah, they're doing exceptionally well. I'm very, very pleased with them. Can't wait to harvest them, really, just to see how easy it is. And on this side, we have the raspberries, which some of them are turning red. And that's the raspberry bed. It needs to be weeded as well. All along here. These are all red raspberries. Take a peek at the calves. They're all doing really good right now. Trying to stay cool in the heat, but it's pretty nice in there. It's shaded and you know they can kind of sprawl out when they're hot. So that's the garden tour for the first of July. Uh, yeah, not a lot is getting harvested yet, but I can't wait to show you when it does. Guys, thank you. Thank you everyone for watching and following along on the garden progress. It's been a challenging spring and now that we're in December, um, so far so good. As always, we are hope you're having a very blessed day. Take care everyone.